In today's video, we're gonna talk about jam production, a new feature added to the 1.5 version of Hoff Bergman. Now, if you're new to this video series, you may not realize that everything that we're showing off here is built into the map Hoff Bergman and is a part of the 1.5 update. I do have a playlist called Hoff Bergman Explained that runs through all of the amazing features in this map that have come out since the 1.0 release. If you are curious in taking a look at that, I do encourage you to go check out my playlist section. Now, as far as jam production, there are two jam production facilities on this map. The first one is gonna be here at the main farm in your garage of your farmhouse. The second one is gonna be located at farm two, which is just across the street from the vehicle shop. And you're gonna find it in this shed. So there's the farmhouse, there's the silo. There's a small shed. And then here we have the same jam production. Now in order to function with the jam, you're gonna need cherries or strawberries and sugar. As we've already seen, in the moonshine video, we're gonna get our sugar by going to our shop. We're gonna to go to objects and then we can buy bags of sugar, $25 for 25 liters. And we can pick various quantities all the way up to 10. Now, as far as our cherries go, the cherry orchard has been reworked a little bit. And as a result, we are gonna be able to Take our cherries from our coat where we have picked the cherries from our cherry trees and we're going to be able to process them in this facility and into then small boxes but in order to do that we have to first purchase these crates in order to do that we're going to go once again back to the shop we're going to go to objects and then transport container now we could put cherries in a big box or we could put cherries in a wooden fillable box, but those are not gonna be the cherries that we're gonna be able to use in our jam production. For that, we're gonna to need to get a fillable cherry small box. We know we have the right box because it does have cherry. This is in German. And we do have then the icon for cherries. There's another fillable box for apples. And that is of course denoted to be used for apples alone. Just like our cherry or sugar, sorry. We can buy in quantities up to 12 at a time. They are $20 a piece. As far as filling your small boxes of cherries, once we have our trailer load of cherries, we're going to unload them into this facility. We're gonna turn the facility on and it's then going to process our regular cherries into packaged cherries, it's basically a cherry packager. We're gonna take our crate, we're gonna put it under the output. We're gonna hit R to fill. And then once our box is full, we can put it on a trailer for then transport. Now there are other uses for packaged cherries. In fact, we can make a nice little bit of money by simply packaging our cherries and selling them directly like this. We come up here to our prices screen. You can see the price for cherries is around $2,226 right now. If we go to the bakery, we look at our price fluctuations. Well, the best price is $28.89 and our lowest price is listed at $18.06. Now we are in easy mode currently when we're doing these videos. With respect to simply packaging our cherries and putting them in a small crate, we're now looking at 5400 to 3375 as far as the price range. And with respect to current prices, it's nearly double simply by taking and running them through this packaging facility. Let's go back over to our jam production and talk about how we're going to convert our cherries or strawberries into jam. To get strawberries for our jam production, we're going to need to use either garden at either of the two farms farm one or farm two right now we're currently at farm two remember this is where we had our jam production facility on the other side of that silo building well the garden for farm two is in behind the farmhouse 
or we could use the allotment garden. I call it the community garden. That is just down the street from the farm. And we have one, two, three, four, or five garden plots down here, which we could use to grow our strawberries. But right now we've got some strawberries here at the main starting farm. And they're gonna come out in properly comparable looking wooden boxes. With respect to our gardens, well, we're gonna require water and manure or compost in order to basically produce our strawberries. We can also produce tomatoes, lettuce, cucumbers, cauliflower, onions, carrots, and potatoes from these little gardens. In order to make our jam, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna walk up here and we're going to go just to the right of the center of the jam facility. We're gonna left click to open the jam. And we can either take our cherries or our strawberries and we're going to dump them into the machine. And then we're going to need to take a bag of sugar. And we're going to need to dump that into the machine. We know we're doing it right when we get a shot of sugar squirting out the bottom. Technically the top, because you did see we had to flip that bag over. Now, once we've done that, we're going to left click to close the jam cooker. We're going to then slide over to the right, right in front of the button box there. And we're going to either be able to left click to go to our jam production in the production menu, or we can simply hit R to turn the production on. Now, as this runs, we're going to see boxes of jam appear here on these work tables. I already have a few prepared right here on my bicycle cart. And there are a few different locations where we can sell our jam. The most convenient here at the starting farm, though, is going to be at the farm shop. As we bring our jam in here, we're going to see it appear behind the counter. And we can see on this listing, marmalade. We have 239 liters currently in stock here at the farm shop. The other points of sale for jam are going to be the bakery, supermarket, or the village shop in town. If we take a look at our price fluctuations, we're looking at anywhere between $33.60 and $27.38 with respect to our jam. Again, back here with our packaged cherries. It might not be the best idea to make cherry jam simply because our packaged cherries are going to sell for more than our jam will. But if we take a look here at our strawberries, well, the strawberries are going to go for substantially less. They're going to go for $649 per thousand liters. And each crate is 250 liters worth of strawberries. So we're going to get a much, much larger profit margin by using our strawberries for our GM production. Let's just speed this clock up a little bit and we can see our strawberries spawn out here. So the jam will spawn out every 50 liters. And we'll get approximately 250 liters worth of jam before our production facility stops. And then we have to fill it back up with strawberries and or cherries and sugar. Now I want to close this video up by simply just taking my 200 liters worth of jam over to the bakery, which is right around the corner here from the starting farm. And why not go ahead and just use our bicycle to make our way over there. So guys, that's going to do us for jam production here on Hoff Bergman in version 1.5. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you are going to be starting up some jam production, maybe some strawberry jam. Really, really nice stuff going on there. What do you think of the 1.5 update to Hoff Bergman? And there we go. Nice little profit margin for simply just 
spending a little bit of time and converting our strawberries into jam. Keep an eye on the channel because we're going to have more of these Hoff Bergman videos drop later this week if you are watching this soon after its release. If you're watching this after the fact, well, maybe go check out the Hoff Bergman playlist. I'm going to put a little tick up in the upper right corner to that so you can go ahead and just click on that to see the full playlist. And until next time, happy farming.